Hello everyone, this is a video about how to make your own textures for your custom HUD mod. I'll try to keep this video uh, as short as possible. First things first, go to your Payday 2 main folder. Steam, Steam, Steam apps, come on Payday 2 if you didn't know. Uh, then go into the sets folder and make a new folder called mod underscore overrides in case y you know you don't have it yet uh, this is the folder that uh, will contain your HUD mod and possibly every other mod that you download step 2 you have to download the payday 2 HUD files uploaded by Nervatel hanging closet monster lovely name uh, in order to download it, you have to sign in uh, through Steam first. That's how the mod workshop uh, works. <laughs> mod workshop works. All right. Um, there are some people who have uh, problems while doing so. They are saying like they get errors that they don't actually sign in and stuff like that. When you sign in through Steam, there will be an option. Uh, that says uh, click here if you don't want to wait any longer just click that and you should be fine so anyway if you signed in then just you know download the hot files uh, the reason I want to do it is because I already have it here the hot files and now this contains all sorts of things in connection with well, you know, hot textures. Now, um, I won't really go into details here because you, uh, I'm positive that you can figure out uh, most things by yourself because, you know, the, the names of the texture files are pretty uh, self-explanatory. For example, uh, here, crimenetmap.texture, uh, ammo counter that texture I'm sure you know what that means uh, it's it's pretty obvious so with this information in mind I won't take away uh, you know the pleasure of uh, discovering this stuff yourself uh, I'm just gonna show you an example uh, I will edit the um, for example uh, the health uh, graphics you know the health the shield and and even the background for it because it has a background and uh, I will also edit the interaction icon all right so you can find it um, you can find those textures in uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce this in English GUIs <laughs> sorry textures payday 2 and then what we need is HUD shield, the HUD radial background texture, and the HUD health. Oh, right, we need the interaction as well. That is. Uh, where is it? HUD, 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 HUD. Yes, this is it. The, inter the interacting or interaction. Uh, icon is the hot progress uh, active hot progress background and hot progress invalid all right I'm just gonna copy these uh, into a new folder let's call this custom hot all right and I'm just gonna drop it right here now uh, in order for the mod to work we have to put the files in their exact uh, in the exact same folders uh, as uh, presented uh, here in the hot files so these folders so I'm just gonna you know make those actually uh, let's do it this way there's probably a you know a, a more shorter and easier way to do this but there's no stopping now so we need 
a folder like this and inside it we need a texture folder Te can't write textures folder and inside it a pd2 right yep yes so that's where all this stuff goes into okay now we have our custom hot folder you know you know what we can actually put this right into the assets mode overrides folder I'm going to take my own HUD out of here so they won't uh, be in a conflict with each other that wouldn't be good so we copy our custom HUD folder into the mode overrides folder and then um, we will begin to edit these textures now the texture uh, extension well we can't really do much about them uh, and by that I mean that we can't uh, op uh, open them this way we have to rename the extension so instead of texture we have to write DDS and we have to do this with all of this all of this stuff all of the files just nice and easy exciting isn't it just hit ok every time your computer says don't do this why, why wouldn't we do that ok now the DDS extension if you have Photoshop then you can download the DDS plugin uh, for the software and you can open it that way or if you don't have Photoshop and don't want to pirate it because you know you want to be a legitimate businessman <laughs> Legit <laughs> what am I saying sorry so if you want to be legit you will download paint.net this is a free software really it's a totally free software that you can download and the DDS extension is a build, is built in the software itself so you don't have to download anything else other than uh, the software itself so I guess uh, this download now button is the right one and then you have to click this and then there you have the paint.net you can see the little icon right here so if we have uh, our favorite program you don't uh, necessarily need paint.net if you don't want it but it's a really good software it's free as simple as use as the original paint and it has photoshop features so it's really good okay enough free advertising <laughs> sorry so let's just open all of it so uh, here's the health bar um, before we do anything keep in mind that in game uh, whatever you do here for example um, uh, this is my new uh, you know uh, health icon a1 and uh, if I uh, save the texture like this and I go in game to check uh, to check it out then in game it will look like this please remember to flip it horizontally all right let's let's make a few changes for example let's keep it uh, simple <coughs> okay let's keep it simple uh, I will uh, change the color of it for example let's make it uh, let's make it red let's make it uh, okay this should be fine red let's make it red all right and uh, you know what I'm going to show you that why flipping uh, the texture horizontally is a must to do thing <coughs> I'm going to write a one here uh, when you save it save it as the 
XT5 interpolated alpha, cluster fit and perceptual and click OK. Now I'm gonna copy this <coughs> into another layer uh, at the uh, shield texture. The reason I do this is because I like to see you know how they fit together. As for the shield I'm going to delete uh, its layer completely and make a new one and I'm going to do something a bit strange thing I'm just gonna you know go ahead and do this this doesn't look exactly good I'm just you know I'm just drawing some stupid shape here with white you can't even see it completely right because of the transparency but I think it will do it for now so we will delete the uh, HP texture because my, I, I mean the HP layer because this is the shield texture and we save it as well <coughs> and now as for the radial background this uh, this um, think of it as uh, the the shadow layer that is under the HP and the shear texture so I'm gonna make two uh, new layers then I'm going to copy the shield and uh, and the HP texture I'm going to delete the original uh, you know the original uh, layer with the texture I'm going to merge these two layers and we're going to make them black and white okay it seems the white texture remains white for obvious reasons so we're going to bring down the brightness <coughs> as well as much as we can yeah like this and then we are going to uh, oh yeah we are going to uh, edit the properties of it bring the opacity down a bit so it becomes a bit transparent ish is that is that a word <coughs> never mind let's see like this and we save it as well if uh, if um, if I'm right then what will happen is that when we start the game the shadow uh, or whatever it's called radial background will look like uh, right like this but the <coughs> HP and the shield will be flipped horizontally automatically in, uh, in game so we will make uh, an interaction icon as well before we do anything uh, like this all right so this is the progress active icon the progress invalid and the progress background I'll make a new layer and let's see uh, uh, I'll, I'll keep it simple just like before we'll make a rectangle all right and actually we can we can color it it doesn't have to be white let's make it blue blueish okay okay it's a bit too narrow okay this should be good I will center this with with the plugin. Okay, we delete the original one, and you and I'll just bring the opacity down just a little tiny bit. Uh, then we will cut it over here to the invalid uh, texture delete the original one make this red 
so we won't forget that <laughs> that it is meant to uh, uh, tell us that hey it's invalid it's an invalid action that you are doing I guess it's between red and pink but whatever I like it bring, bring the opacity down just a little tiny bit okay and then we copy it to the goddamn progress background as well <laughs> because that's how the background should look like we're going to make it black and white and bring the opacity way 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 down like this and then save it now if we are done with this we will rename them to that texture <sighs> so much excitement really and imagine this when you edit the other textures and well as well all right now now we are actually done we just have to go in game and check out how this looks Those murky bastards are going to be trying to shoot. 